Hey, welcome back. Today we're talking fabric, Snapstat a warehouse, and we're going to be talking about like a real big missing feature, and that is schemas. Marcus, what's the deal? Why can't I create schemas inside a fa fabric data warehouse? Well, Chris, it turns out you actually can create different schemas. So we're what? going to show you how to dive into that today and a couple of different options on how to get that to work. Um, other than having your default DBO and sys schemas that are natively provided to you, like we demoed in our previous videos on how to spin up a, a Synapse data warehouse within Fabric. Well, that's fantastic because I love to manage all of my content, you know, all my database objects using schemas. So now that I can do that, like I, I can't wait to see. Let's check it out. Sounds good. Let's head over to my screen. All right, so picking up where we left off with our previous videos on Synapse data warehouses within Fabric, we can see that we're starting from our BT demo warehouse that we created. And as I mentioned in our, our intro here, we have a couple of defaulted schemas that are created for us upon creating that that warehouse that we have. So you can see we have the DBO, the guest, information schema, and sys schemas that are created for us. But as Chris mentioned, what happens when we want to create additional schemas to help better organize our data and our processing that may be going on in that warehouse? So the first option I'm going to show is within the schemas menu here, I can right click on that or if I hover over the three dot ellipsis icon here, I can get these options of new schema or refresh. So I'm going to select new schema. And with that, Fabric generates a DDL statement for me uh, to drop in my schema name. So in this case, I want to create a staging schema in my warehouse so that we can land source data in there and then potentially do additional transformations to load that into uh, maybe a silver or a gold layer or a production uh, set of tables that we're gonna take that data uh, and transform that into. So I'm gonna create a schema STG for stage. And I'm gonna just go ahead and run that. You can see within uh, almost a second, uh, we have that schema created in our Fabric Warehouse. I'm sorry, but what? Exactly. So I didn't even have to come up with that statement on my own. If you don't have a lot of T-SQL background, like the nice thing about Fabric is they've built in a number of UI options to help get you started with these scripts. Go ahead and refresh my screen here. And we can now see in the schemas breakdown, my new stage schema has been generated for me. Wow. That's and fantastic. Yeah, it really is. And picking up from a previous video, we talked about the my query section and the shared query section. If I didn't want to lose that context or maybe didn't want to use the UI to generate additional statements around create schemas, I can again take my SQL statement that was saved from the last time I ran that and just name that create schema. And now I have it saved in my my query section or I can move that to a shared query section if I have another associate that wants to do similar behavior within their own uh, Fabric data warehouse. So again, Fabric's done a great job of baking into the UI some options to generate these statements for you, uh, or you can bring your own SQL statements like we've shown uh, with other features in Fabric. Wow, that's fantastic, Marcus. Thanks so much for, for putting this together. When, it, when Fabric first came out, we couldn't create schemas. Now it's great to see that we can. Thank you. Not a problem. See you for the next one.